Day on One, your daily dose of local affairs and social media commentary. Today on One Festive Season Crime Prevention Operation Underway, Urongo prepared for the festive season, Finland and Namibia commemorate 150 years of friendship, and Namibian economy expected to recover in 2021. An operation codenamed Hokanam, a combination of previous joint crime prevention operations of the Namibian police, namely Hornkranz, Kalahari and Namib Desert, is currently underway nationwide and will end on the 12th of March next year. Launching the operation, Deputy Inspector General for Operations at the Namibian Police noted that the crime prevention operation will be spearheaded by the Namibian Police, leading members of the Namibia Defence Force, the Namibian Correctional Service and the Windhoek Municipal Police Service. This is another effort to improve our global competitiveness and enhance accessible qualitative public service. We vow to be conducting robust and visible beat patrols in towns, suburbs, streets, highways, and localities with a view to prevent and combat crime, protect human lives and property. Enforcing laws of this country ranging from prevention and or combating of crime particularly gender-based violence, murder, rape, robberies, road accidents, as well as the enforcement of members of the society to adhere to the COVID-19 health measures and regulations. The operation will be concentrated in the areas of crime prevention, road accident prevention and road safety maintenance, and COVID-19 prevention. On the COVID-19 situation the country as you all know has started to experience a rise in COVID-19 cases which is a serious concern and is posing a serious threat to the livelihood of many in terms of health and economy. Therefore we need to be responsible citizens in order to curb the further spread of this virus. On the gender-based violence and overall crime we should make sure as law enforcers that our visibility throughout the throughout day and night are felt everywhere countrywide on road accidents over the past festive season namibia has recorded a high number of road accidents and it has affected the livelihoods of many people this time around our strategy to curb road accidents will be to deploy as many traffic officers as possible along our national roads who will be equipped with modern addition of breathalyzers to test those that are driving under the influence of alcohol. I can assure you these are modern equipment that are free from uh, vulnerability of the COVID spread. Members of various forces to take part in the operation have also been directed to undergo induction on conduct and rules of engagement. The forces will further be briefed and debriefed on their daily duties.
Santa's back with even more Christmas specials from MTC. Visit your nearest mobile home to unbox the connection with great deals on mobile phones and accessories now. Get your share of Santa's goodies from MTC and make this Christmas a connection to remember. MTC, make the connection. Enjoy these fantastic payday savings of clicks until 2 December. Buy clicks 2 ply toilet paper, 18 rolls, 89.99 per pack. Buy Shield Aerosol 150 mils, 2 for $49. Buy selected Nivea Body Lotion Pump, 2 for $121. Or buy any three Aunt Jackie's hair care products, cheapest one free. Clicks, feel good, pay less. We can't wait to get together again, to welcome new friends, meet up with old ones, and play until the sun comes up. We can't wait to fill our stadiums again. In fact, we can't wait to get the whole gang together. But until then, let's stay safe. The Irongo Regional Governor Neville Andre recently met with members of the Namibian Police, Namibian Defense Force and Namibian Navy as well as members of different neighborhood watch groups to address effective measures to fight crime in the coastal towns during the festive season. The festive season is here and this also means an increase in criminal activities especially at the coastal towns where many people from different parts of the country will be traveling to. Therefore, security clusters which also include existing and newly established neighborhood watch groups convened at Wolfish Bay to strategize and develop effective measures to protect their communities from crime. The meeting was called by the Irongo Regional Governor Neville Andre who applauded the neighborhood watch groups that are volunteering to assist the law enforcement agencies to curb crime in the coastal region during the festive season. As reported in the media in the past few weeks, there has been a very disturbing prevalence of rape cases in the Waffles by local authority area, which is indicating to a possible serial rapist in Waffles by, and I'm also very happy to know that a suspect has been arrested and that I would want to congratulate the job well done to our security cluster. However, I still want to appeal to our residents, more specifically our women and girls, to please be vigilant and stay safe and to avoid walking alone at night as well as to avoid being alone at home during evenings. We also need to inform them that kindly report any suspicious behavior and movements to the police without delay, because that might save your life and the loved ones also. As stakeholders in the security cluster, I am urging you to ensure that the safety of our residents and visitors is not compromised during the festive season. And let us strive to have a crime-free festive season. Heads from the Namibian Police, Namibian Defense Force and Namibian Navy also accompanied the governor to brief the group on their joint crime prevention strategy, which they will effectively enforce during the operations. We all know or oh, you will all agree with me that the violent crimes are always a result of alcohol and drug abuse. You know, a drug person or a person under the influence of a narcotic drugs is a dangerous somebody. 
So we will also deploy our members every now and then in those areas to ensure that you know, uh, like here in Wafis Bay, you know, you have some spot, uh, hot spots where people, uh, people's properties are just great. Namely, these properties. And uh, I, I prefer it to a cell phone, eh? No. And uh, that is also where we have to deploy our resources. But we need the cooperation of everyone. You know, uh, and, I, and I'm really happy that uh, you responded positively. You know, the Honorable Governor, these are the people who are assisting the Namibian police in keeping uh, criminal activities. Although many criminal activities have been reported so far at the coast, security clusters have been hard at work to ensure that the perpetrators of those crimes are successfully arrested. The public is encouraged to continue assisting the law enforcement officers with information about criminal activities that will help lead to more arrests. The United Nations is marking its 75th anniversary at a time of great challenges, including the worst global health crisis in its history. The world needs solidarity, and your contribution counts. It only takes a minute to make a real difference. So, take one minute to complete the short survey you will find at un75.online. Add your voice, Namibia, and be heard. The future we want, the United Nations we need. Every morning I leave home not knowing if it's the last time I say goodbye to my mommy. On my way to school, I see a lot of drivers who do not follow the rules or the road. Some are distracted and others make poor choices that could take my life. I stop, I look, I listen before crossing and even encourage my friends to do the same. But do you know that if you hit me at more than 60 kilometers per hour, there is a 80% chance I don't survive. I only stand a chance if you, the driver, drives at the right speed, which is less than 40 kilometers per hour around the school area. Do the right thing and save lives. This message was brought to you by the National Road Safety Council. We are molded with the utmost intricacy, unique and ever-evolving. But we will always need a guiding hand. The Embassy of Finland in Winduk recently celebrated the country's 103rd independence under the theme Virtuality and Digitalization. Today on One met with the Ambassador of Finland to Namibia to discuss the two countries' exceptionally good and long relations that dates back to the year 1869.
In 2020, Finland and Namibia strengthened their special diplomatic relationship as both countries met to celebrate an extraordinarily long and close partnership that has lasted for 150 years, according to the ambassador of Finland to Namibia. Upon gaining independence in 1990, Namibia became one of the key partners of development cooperation for Finland in Africa, and the country was supported on several sectors extending from education, healthcare, mining, environmental protection to strengthening Namibia's civil society landscape. The areas of cooperation have varied uh, depending on the historical times and the needs and uh, interest of both countries. There were the early uh, contributions to the education and health sector, uh, Finnish support during the independence struggle and thereafter the, de the development cooperation between the two governments. Today, the interaction between Finland and Namibia is uh, close, it's uh, very rich and diverse, and both countries uh, put emphasis today on the economic and trade relations. And Finland also keeps uh, supporting the Namibian civil society. With popular technological innovations such as Nokia that revolutionized the global ICT industry, Finland has also supported innovation projects in Namibia such as Tololo Innovation Hub, a co-working environment in the central business district that brings together young entrepreneurs and startups to shape the future of Namibia. According to the ambassador, digitalization and technology is one of the key emerging sectors where Namibia and Finland's economic interests can meet. After uh, working and meeting with each other uh, this year, mostly online, we have realized that digital revolution is underway with its benefits and many challenges as well. And uh, Finland is uh, one of the leading European countries in digitalization and technology. And uh, I am positive that this is one of the sectors where the Namibian and Finnish economic interests can meet. To mark Finland and Namibia's 150 years of friendship, the Embassy of Finland in Winduk launched a book titled Intertwined Histories, 150 Years of Finnish-Namibia Relations. The book is a collection of essays and historical photographs published by the University of Turku. station subscribes to the Namibia Media Code of Conduct and is regulated by the Media Ombudsman, appointed to deal with complaints about media content that breach this code. This includes content that is inaccurate, unfair or that invade privacy. We encourage aggrieved members of the public to submit complaints to the Media Ombudsman via MediaOmbudsmanNamibia.org. The Media Ombudsman is supported by the Editors Forum of Namibia, advocating for ethical and quality journalism. With trusted quality and great value on all Clix brand products, switch and save. Buy Clix Hygiene Body Wash 500 mils, 54.99 each. Buy Clix Tissue Oil 125 mils, 95.69 each. Or buy Clix Soap 175 grams, 8.79 each. And buy Clix Expert Waterless Hand Sanitizer from 32.99 each. Clix feel good, pay less. We can't wait to get together again, to welcome new friends, meet up with old ones, and play until the sun comes up. We can't wait to fill our stadiums again. In fact, we can't wait to get the whole gang together. But until then, let's stay safe.
speaking at a recent event in the city, Finance Minister Ipumbu Shimi gave his take on the state of the economy heading into 2021 and is optimistic that a growth trend is on the horizon. The central bank announced at its October monetary policy that the economy will contract by 7.8% in the last quarter of 2020. The finance minister said recently that despite this outlook, the economy will register a moderate growth of 2.1% in 2021. The projection for next year is that the economy is going to, uh, to grow by about 2.2% um, and, and, and improve afterwards in 2022, 2023, we expect growth to be better than that. Um, but of course, this also depends on, on how the pandemic unfolds going forward. If the pandemic stabilizes, as we all expect, that it, it may reach a peak, maybe mid next year, um, then our projections may be realized. If the situation become, become worse, and uh, God forbid it doesn't, it doesn't go that way, we, we, of course, th those plans will have to be, or those projections will have to be, to be revised. But from, from where we stand now, we expect the situation to improve. Namibia was under a state of emergency for six months, which ended in September. For eight months, sectors such as mining, manufacturing, tourism, wholesale and transport all recorded a decline in activity compared to 2019. With regards to the global economy, Shimi said in 2020, it was in a crisis state as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Starting with the global economy already, the global economy is, is estimated to contract by about 4.4%. Those are the latest IMF projections. Now, of course, this projection is something that the world economy has not seen in a long time. Um, and, 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 and therefore, this is really one of the worst situations we have seen. I have seen in my professional life. Um, so that is only, it's not only true for the global economy, it's also true for the Namibian economy. So in line with the, the contraction uh, in the global economy this year, we expect the contraction in the Namibian economy to be in the region of about 8%. According to the central bank, key risks to the global outlook include a second wave of infections in some regions, combined with slower progress with development and a rollout of vaccines and the China-US trade tensions. ShopRite is your home of low prices this Christmas with unforgettable savings on everything you need. Stock up this festive season with great deals like 1.5 kilos of real good frozen mixed chicken portions, only $49.99. And 1 kilo of greens frozen mixed vegetables, just $24.99. Don't miss out on unforgettable savings at the home of low prices this Christmas, only at ShopRite. Lower prices you can trust, always. Langerans Pharmacy is working hard to make sure you stay healthy. Keep your social distance by making use of our convenient new delivery service. Get your prescriptions and orders filled from store to door. With free delivery weekdays in Windhoek, Langerans Pharmacy puts you first. Stay safe. In other leading stories, a grant of 200,000 euros has been awarded to the Save the Rhino Trust Namibia to support the local communities in protecting the world's last free-ranging black rhino 
and the sustainability of initiatives that bring revenue to these communities. Funded by the Organization of African, Caribbean and Pacific States and the European Union through the Biopalma program, this two-year project will train and equip SRT trackers and rhino rangers to continue monitoring and protecting the rhinos in the Kunene and Irongo regions of Namibia. Save the Rhino Trust works tirelessly to protect the last free-roaming population of black rhinos left in the world. The black rhino is a critically endangered species according to the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. The project will contribute to improving resiliency of rhino custodian communities against external pressure. It will improve collection of rhino monitoring data through the use of new technology in the field as well as the installation of critical infrastructure needed for communication and well-being of rhino trackers whilst on patrol. The Rhino Ranger program has been noted as one of the most innovative community-based rhino conservation initiatives in Africa. The approach of incentivizing local participation in conservation has contributed significantly to the reduction of poaching in the landscape and income from rhino monitoring has provided a sustainable form of alternative livelihood income for approximately 50 community-based rhino rangers currently working in the region. Welcome to Comments Corner, your daily dose of local comments from the hottest social media pages. We look at more comments from the operation code named Hokanam that was launched recently, a combination of previous joint crime prevention operations of the Namibian police force, namely Honkrans, Kalahari and Namib Desert. It is scheduled to end on the 12th of March 2021. Below said unless approached professionally, he will fight back. Sarah said they should not take life but rather to protect. Nikala hopes that the operation will be professional since it was launched by the Deputy Inspector General. And that is all from Comments Corner. Be sure to post your comments on our social media pages for broadcast every day only on to DN1. Tell
believe You give me reason to believe in love You're the reason I believe in love You make me wanna lay in your arms mm -hmm. I wanna stay there forever Yeah In your arms In your arms In your arms In your arms oh, oh. When I look into your eyes On BBC World News, the biggest African and international.